Hi friends, my name is Aftil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to fix this error data conversion field the data conversion for column return status value 4 and status text so the agent of today's video tutorial is how we can fix the data conversion error in SSIS so let's jump to the demo in my day files location I got a file test data underscore one dot csv and if I show you the data so it's a csv file and it contains data for person's id first name last name address information and country information so we will be loading this data into a sql server table using ssis and then we will come across the data conversion error so we will see how we can fix that error so this is my blank ssis package that i will be using today to write the code because we are going to load a csv file into a sql server table so we will be using a data flow task so we can just drag and drop the data flow task into the control flow window and then we can configure the data flow task because our source file is a csv file so we will be using the flat file source to read the data from a csv file then we can configure the flat file source we can make a flat file connection manager and we can call the flat file connection manager as flat file you can browse the file file type is csv so we will select csv files from here and then we will select the csv file and we can click on open if you click on preview so you can see that data looks good here all the columns are visible and data seems good so you can click on ok now you can go to the columns and if you do not want to load data for one of the column then you can uncheck any column otherwise you can select all the columns and then you can click ok and now because we want to write the data into a SQL server table so we will be using the OLEDB destination so we can just drag and drop the OLEDB destination and then we can connect the flat file source with the OLEDB destination now you can right click and configure the OLEDB destination you can make a connection to the SQL server database so I already have a connection to the work database in my SQL server 2019 instance so I will be loading the data into this particular database so I can select this connection and I can click OK from data access mode I will select table or be fast load because it does the bulk insert and I want to create a new table for this particular file so maybe I can call this the new table as country there is an extra n and I can click on ok so the country table has been created and if you click on the mapping so you can make sure that all input columns have been mapped with the destination columns so this is good and you can click on ok now if you try to execute the SSIS package then you might come across the error that data conversion failed so you can see that the package got failed the data flow task got failed and it failed on the flat file source if you check the error message here so it is saying that data conversion failed the data conversion for column address returned status value 4 and status text was truncated or one or more characters had no match in the target code page so it has given you the column name on which the truncation error is occurring so there is a truncation error on the address field okay uh, let me show you the data actually so if i show you the file and let me open it in notepad plus plus so if you check in the last row the length of the address is very long i intentionally put a very long address its length is 110 this particular address length okay so somehow we need to fix this one so we need to increase the length in the SSIS package and then we can f increase the length in the SQL server table as well so to increase the length in the SSIS package what we need to do we need to just right click on the flat file connection manager click on edit now you need to go to the advanced and you can click on the address so the default length of address is 50 so by default SSIS takes the data type and length as a string 50 for all the columns so if you want to change from a string 50 to something else then you can do that so right now I just want to increase the length from 50 to maybe 150 and I can click OK now you can see there is an exclamation mark here that the data type got changed so you can just right click on it and click on edit so it is saying that the metadata of this particular field has been changed do you want to replace the metadata of the output columns with the metadata of the external columns so you can say yes click ok so this has been changed now you can see that we got the exclamation mark in the OLEDB destination because the length of the address has been increased to 150 in the source but in the SQL server table in the destination the length of the address field is, is still 50 so that's why you are getting an exclamation mark here so what you need to do you can actually recreate the country table with a new length of 150 okay or maybe you can just alter the length using an alter command 
it's up to you so maybe I can use an alter command here so if you want to check the length of the columns in this particular table so you can write SP underscore help and country so this will show you the length of all the columns and their data type so if you see for the address we have the length as 50 and the data type is varchar ok so we want to change it to varchar 150 so we can write an alter query here alter table country alter column address varchar 150 ok so this is the query that you can run and this will increase the length of the address from 50 to 150 you can execute this query, so query and fine and if you recheck the schema of the country table so now you will find that the length of the address has been increased to 150 from 50 ok so if you go back to the SSIS package so you will notice that still there is an exclamation mark on the OLEDB destination and to fix this one you can right click on the OLEDB destination click on edit and then you can click on ok so this will actually refresh the metadata of the table so now you can see that the exclamation mark has been gone because the source metadata is matching with the destination and there won't be any truncation error now so you can read on the SSIS package and now this time it should load the data from a CSV file into a SQL server table so now you can see that the package ran fine and it has loaded everything from the CSV file into a SQL server table and if you want to check the data from the country table so you can right click and select the data from it and if you see the last line so you can see that there is a very long address actually in the last line so this was the address because of which the package was failing yeah so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much